Hey guys, Anthony Kalova from Big Picture Nutrition, and today I'm going to show you how to make English toffee with jalapenos. Every so here is everything that you're going to need to make the uh, the toffee. I'll start with some utensils. You need a big soup pot like that, a uh, wire whisk, a glove so you don't get burned, a little uh, rubber or silicone um, scraper. Uh, these are here's some chopped up almonds, some graham crackers, some salt, some vanilla, butter, unsalted, I use unsalted butter, then I add my own salt. Uh, here we have some pecans, a whole bunch of sugar, 25 pounds I think of sugar, um, some chocolate chips, uh, tablespoon, teaspoon measuring cups, uh, a couple different types of measuring cups, different sizes. Here's a candy thermometer. I've got two here. This one right here, these are pretty cheap and you can find pretty much anywhere. I don't like those. I'll burn through about five or six of those in, in, a, in a season, just making like 20 or 30 um, cookie trays of, uh, of toffee. Um, these ones right here, these are a lot more sturdy. They work really well. They have a nice clip on the back, pretty, pretty heavy duty. And um, I, I haven't had to buy more than one yet, although I have I have a few of them. So here's everything that you need to uh, to make the toffee. One of the things that I also like to do is um, jalapenos. I chop up some jalapenos in advance and then I, um, I throw those in there early on and um, make a nice jalapeno toffee. So that's everything that you need and uh, we'll get started. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get uh, get the cookie sheet uh, prepared kind We're of. just going to kind of you know, add some uh, add some of these pecans and some of the mix, and try to get it as as spaced out as as evenly as possible. So what I have here uh, in preparation for everything is a little pan. I got some chopped almonds. I bought these pre-chopped up. Throw in a you know a couple handfuls of almonds. Then I've got the graham crackers. Take the graham cracker crust and just uh, you know dump out. Uh, a little graham All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the pan. You can see it's on low right now, and we're going to add six sticks of butter to this. Six sticks of butter turns out to be one and a half pounds of butter. Uh, we are going to add this stick and five more just like it. Uh, we're going to melt the butter down, then we're going to add our sugar. At this point, I'm going to take the handy candy thermometer, which you have to have. This is a must because it's very temperamental. It needs to get, the, on this one it's listed as hard crack. It's about 304, 305 degrees and uh, very important to have. So we've got a pound and a half or six sticks of butter. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add three cups of sugar, which is exactly twice as much in weight. So now the, the butter has come to a, the butter and sugar has come to a slight boil. So at this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the water. Um, this is going to, I don't know if you can hear that on the video, but it's sucked to the bottom and it kind of sped up the, the heating process. So that's eventually going to give off a, a little more heat and a little bit of steam and it's going to kind of kind of melt the sugar down or liquefy the sugar a little bit faster and uh, help us get a more smooth consistency out of the sugar earlier on so it kind of cooks faster. Um, I also like to add the jalapenos. I've, I've chopped these up in a salsa maker ahead of time. Now there's a certain amount of water content to these. I like to add them early on. Um, these are not very hot jalapenos. Sometimes you get a really smoking hot batch, and you never know. Um, so I'm going to add uh, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of jalapenos and make this a really good batch. Sometimes you only need a couple tablespoons, depending on how hot the chilies are. But uh, those are in there, and I'm going to give you another show. You can see just added those uh, jalapenos. It's turning out real nice. Kind of mix everything around. Jalapenos kind of cool the mixture so it's not bubbling as much, but uh, it's looking good so far. All right, so so now it's bubbling up pretty good. I've got it set on a low setting. You want to try to keep the heat as low as possible, like low to medium, no more than medium, because uh, if you try to get it too hot too fast, it's just gonna it's just gonna bubble up and and burn and turns to crap. 
Uh, one of the things that you need to do, you don't have to do this, but I like to do this. Um, this, this type of mixture, anytime you're cooking with sugar and you're trying to get it to a hard crack or soft crack stage, moisture is always a, a, a problem. Um, some people say don't even make this stuff on days when it's raining or cloudy because you can ruin a batch. But for me, um, I like to have a little bit of wiggle room. I can't, I'm not going to test the humidity in my kitchen. I mean, some people will turn on the fan, you know, um, just to help absorb or suck up some of the moisture. Um, a good thing that you can do that a lot of people don't do is lethicin. Lethicin is a soy product, and when you add it, like this is a tablespoon, and add a tablespoon of lethicin to the boiling mixture, what it does is it, it prevents the, the sugar and the oil from separating. Uh, a lot of batches of toffee will get ruined simply because of the separation. It will, you, you'll get almost to the very end and then like the, 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 the oil will surface and it'll turn to crap and you'll pour it out and it'll be totally completely ruined. So a little bit of lethicin will go a long way. Alright, now I'm just going to add a little bit of salt, um, about, uh, about a tablespoon for six cups or six uh, sticks of butter. All right, now I've got my glove on because it's starting to get hot. I don't know if you can see that, but we're at, uh, uh, I don't even know what that's, I can't even tell, softball stage. Um, so it's getting a little toasty in here, so I put the glove on. You can see it's definitely starting to thicken up pretty good. You just want to keep on keep on mixing it around so it doesn't, so it doesn't burn, and so you get the nice even texture to it. All right, so... Right now, we are about 10 or 12 degrees away from the hard crack stage. Once it turns to hard crack, I'm going to remove it from the heat, and I'm going to add a touch of vanilla. You always add the vanilla at the end because it's vanilla is you know, alcohol-based, so it, it flashes like instant. Hard crack. That means it's at 306. So now... Here we go. Mix. Can you hear that? All right, so here goes, guys. Spatula deal. That's Take that. Chocolate chips. You just kind of spread them around evenly. All right. So the, we've had plenty of time to have the chocolate chips melted. You can see. Now I just kind of use my little spatula tool, and it just uh, spreads the chocolate nice and evenly. Some people will use candy bars instead of. Chocolate chips. I like chocolate chips. It seems to work good for what I do. And I just kind of spread it around nice and even. All right. Now what we're gonna do? Now that uh, the chocolate is melted, I'm gonna take my little combination of uh, graham cracker crust and almonds, and I'm just gonna kind of go like this and uh, spread it out kind of evenly. Just go like this, and that chocolate will eventually kind of catch all the little pieces and eventually there's not going to be a whole lot left. I'm going to throw this in the uh, in the refrigerator. I've actually already got one. So here fridge. we go. Here's a nice shot of the English toffee with the jalapenos. Here on the back side you can see every little once in a while you have a, uh, a piece of the, uh, the nuts and the toffee. And uh, unfortunately I cannot eat this. I'm going to make 20 or 30 trays just like this and I'm not going to be able to eat any of it. I can't even taste it to find out if it tastes good. Thing is, I've made enough of them that I know it tastes good and I know it's going to be killer. So. And if you like, again, please subscribe. Um, I appreciate it. Enjoy yourself and treat each other well.